Hey guys, uh, here's the news that we've been wanting to tell you about. Our Stage 1 kits are now back in stock again. Uh, our Stage 1 kits, this is for all the, the 310 models of course, um, our Stage 1 kits consist of a 2 degree pump wedge for the jet pump nozzle, and this is while we're out of stock. K-speed intake grates, these things are awesome, they're now back in stock. We changed manufacturers, um, I like the old intake grates, I like the old manufacturer, but we we're starting to get some that weren't visually consistent, so the new manufacturer has a higher QC and we're having a lot less waste. Um, this is what we were waiting on, they are now back. So the stage one, those are the parts, you've got the pump wedge and the intake grate and it was a reflash service. So you would post the, your ECU down to us here in Australia, I would reflash it and send it all, send the kit back to you. This would take about, I don't know, 10 to 14 days, you'd be without your, your ski. Um, that's still available, still business as usual, same as we've been doing for the last 12 years. And this is the other big news we have to tell you. We have, for the past two years, I've been trying to make this thing work. This is specifically at the moment for the 22 model and onwards. So the current generation, or the new generation of the 310s. This is a K-speed tune box. It will connect directly to your ski at home DIY. So you can buy the kit from us. You'll have to pay extra for the box and cables, of course. So you can buy the stage one with the box. You'll, you'll then plug it into your ski, it will VIN lock to your ECU. So this will stay with the ski. Then you can swap tune. So you can, the stage one tune will be in there, your original file will also be in there. So if you ever need to go back to original file for whatever reason, I don't know why you'd need to go back to original file, but the stage one is ever, you can do this at your house. You don't need to send your ECU to me. So the tune box is going to have a, another video on how to use it and everything like that will be done separately to this video. Um, we'll have clear instructions on, on how it's done. Uh, keep an eye on the website. We'll have all the pricing and information available on that there. So uh, check out www.kspeed.com.au. Thank you. So you can see that we're MPO and we're pulling the throttle and it's nice and as I get towards full throttle, see as you can see I'm getting closer and then we got power and then we got full power. Hey guys, I'm down here testing the new K-Speed Endurance Tune. Um, you might like it as a, as a normal riding sort of tune as well, a lot of people like that. FBO's got a fair bit of uh, power to it, and sometimes you, that, that power isn't required, and, and the MPO mode is actually quite a nice mode. The thing with MPO, it doesn't give you the top speed. So uh, here at K-Speed, that's what we've done. I'll show you. So the throttle, what I've done is I've, I've kept the MPO throttle uh, set up on it, so I'll just as you take off and everything, everything's here is real nice. You use a fair bit of throttle. It's just nice to ride. It's not so punchy. However, if you do need the punch, you do have it. You've just got to get the throttle to the bars. So as I bring it closer to the bars, you'll see.
So having the K-Speed Endurance Tune will allow you to ride the thing and tow kids, you know, like just If we click it into FPO mode, ski's got plenty of. speed endurance tune will probably uh, suit a lot of people that will like uh, the docileness of the MPO mode uh, and the ability to ch tow your family in the, in the tubes and skis and all that sort of stuff without being so aggressive in the full power operation mode uh, and, and when you need the power you got it Get me wrong, I love FPO mode. There's times I don't need it, and uh, an MPO mode will suffice. This additional tune option is only available with the K Speed Tube Box Endurance Plus, same speed, less fatigue.